Welcome to Figures in History. Join us on a captivating journey through time as we uncover key facts about influential individuals who have shaped our world. In this episode, we will be discussing Martina Navratilova. Martina Navratilova is regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time, with an illustrious career that spanned over three decades. Born in Prague, Czechoslovakia, on October 18, 1956, she became a U.S. citizen in 1981. Navratilova's impact on the sport is monumental, with a record 167 singles titles and a total of 59 Grand Slam titles, including 18 singles, 31 women's doubles, and 10 mixed doubles. Her dominance in the sport was particularly pronounced in the 1980s, where she maintained a fierce rivalry with Chris Evert, which became one of the greatest in tennis history. Navratilova's athleticism, aggressive play, and exceptional volley skills redefined women's tennis. Martina Navratilova's journey to the pinnacle of tennis was not without its challenges. In 1975, at the age of 18, she defected from communist Czechoslovakia to seek greater professional freedom and opportunities in the United States. This bold move came at a personal cost, it resulted in a painful separation from her family and a two-year ban from returning to her homeland. Her defection became a defining moment, not only shaping her career but also her identity as she navigated the complexities of being an immigrant and a professional athlete during the Cold War era. An outspoken advocate for LGBTQ rights, Martina Navratilova was one of the first globally prominent athletes to openly come out as gay, which she did in 1981. Her decision to live openly was a watershed moment in sports and had a profound influence on the visibility and acceptance of LGBTQ plus athletes. Despite facing homophobia and losing endorsements as a result of her coming out, Navratilova remained a tireless activist for equal rights and used her platform to challenge prejudice and promote inclusivity within and beyond the realm of sports. Navratilova's training regimen and physical conditioning were revolutionary for her time. She worked closely with her coach, Nancy Lieberman, a former professional basketball player, to incorporate cross-training techniques that were uncommon in tennis. Her commitment to fitness transformed her into an incredibly powerful and durable athlete, allowing her to maintain a high level of play well into her 40s. Navratilova's influence can be seen in the modern game, where fitness and athleticism are critical components for success. Martina Navratilova's record of nine Wimbledon singles titles remains unmatched in the open era, underscoring her dominance on grass courts. Her love affair with Wimbledon began with her first singles title there in 1978 and continued through her last in 1990. Navratilova's tactical intelligence, serve and volley prowess, and mental toughness made her nearly invincible at the All England Club. Her success at Wimbledon is a testament to her adaptability and mastery of the game's most prestigious tournament. Beyond her singles achievements, Navratilova forged an incredibly successful doubles partnership with Pam Shriver. The duo won an astounding 20 Grand Slam women's doubles titles together, including a record 109-match winning streak that spanned from 1983 to 1985. Their on-court chemistry and complementary playing styles set a standard for doubles excellence and solidified their status as one of the greatest pairs in tennis history. Martina Navratilova's competitive spirit transcended the tennis court, as she also made a mark in other sports. She showed remarkable talent in basketball and skiing in her youth. Later in life, she took part in the New York City Marathon in 2010, finishing in an impressive time of 4 hours, 42 minutes. Her diverse athletic pursuits highlight her exceptional versatility and commitment to maintaining a high level of physical fitness throughout her life. Navratilova's influence extends into the world of coaching and commentary. After retiring from full-time singles competition in 1994, she remained involved in tennis as a coach, guiding players like Agnieszka Redwanska and helping them improve their games. As a commentator, she has provided insightful analysis for major networks at Grand Slam tournaments, sharing her deep knowledge of the sport and continuing to shape the conversation around tennis. Martina Navratilova has been recognized with numerous awards and accolades for her contributions to tennis and society.
she was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 2000. Additionally, she has received the Philippe Chatrier Award for her contributions to the sport, and she was named one of the 30 legends of women's tennis, past, present and future by Time magazine. Her legacy is celebrated not only for her athletic achievements but also for her advocacy and impact on social issues. Navratilova's legacy is also marked by her literary contributions. She has co-written several books, including an autobiography, Martina, and a series of mystery novels with Liz Nichols. Her writing offers insights into her personal life, her experiences as a professional athlete, and her views on various social issues. These works add another dimension to her multifaceted legacy and offer fans a deeper understanding of the challenges and triumphs that have defined her remarkable life and career. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through this figure's fascinating life. If you're passionate about history, don't forget to subscribe to Figures in History for more captivating stories of influential figures from the past. Leave a comment below and let us know which historical figure you'd like to see in future episodes. Your suggestions matter, and together, we can continue exploring the amazing figures that shaped our world. Keep exploring, learning, and shaping a brighter future through understanding the past.